Welcome to a new, might be controversial video, I don't know. It's only meant to spread like good vibes and all that. There's nothing meant to like attack people. There's no drama in the video. So if you're here for drama, uh, this is not the video for you. Right now we are streaming live, as you can kind of see the setup. We're going to be ranking my personal favorite YouTuber, RuneScape private server YouTubers. Now, mm, again, this is going to be drama free. This is going to be only to be, be basically push people. Hey, go check out Arts. Go check out Sohan. Go check out Diddy because they make awesome shit. And, and give you my personal opinion of what I like and what I enjoy. Uh, someone could be ranked down because they only play custom servers because I don't watch that shit. I don't enjoy it. Like, some people might be better ranked doing customs or some people might be worse ranked customs depending on how they talk their accent stuff like that like if i enjoy listening to them their personality it could be a million different things it will not have anything to do with the current drama it is meant to only it's only meant to say what i enjoy about the people here it is not meant to bash on anyone so of course we would be seeing certain people here these are and these are the only youtubers that i actually do like watch so or barely even watch i would even mention like i've only seen like a couple videos of so if there is the youtubers that you're just like oh there's a hidden gem here uh make sure to write it down in the comments because i would love to see this hidden gem anyway let's start off simple with vitek now, Vitek, I don't really watch. I haven't really watched too much before. I've only watched him very, very recently. I did make a little notepad, so I'm probably going to be looking at that a little bit from time to time. I do enjoy his commentary. I will state that. I do like his commentary, but every video of Vitex does seem like it's an advertisement or intro into a new RSPS, like a introductory guide or something like that, which is great for new players into a new RSPS. Wonderful. But it's not what I enjoy the most. Uh, he doesn't really do like... Pro I like progress Iron Man Bay videos. And you're going to really see that on how I'm going to rank these people. I'm not too big on PKing, I'm not too big on gambling, and I'm not too big on custom servers. So you're really going to... This tier list will reflect that. Some people, Sohan would be like, yeah, Sohan would be on top. Gambling YouTuber, 100%. For me, he will probably be a little bit lower on the tier list. But let's talk about Vitek. I like his commentary. From what I've heard, he does sound amazing and all that. But he doesn't have... How do I explain this? progress based like videos that i enjoy like loot from x amount of monsters or iron man series or some kind of stuff that's like progress based so i'm thinking for now i'm gonna rate him on because i do like his content like his content is good i think a d or a c tier for now it will all become relative right now i don't know but like, i don't think it'd be an e tier because he's not I like his commentary at least. So I think I will say a D tier for Vi Vitek. Uh, let's pick a random one here. Unreal Chris. Alright, so Unreal is uh, a person who does... Ch he's a chill... If you've ever been in Chris's streams, he's such a chill YouTuber. Like, honestly, I love his content. Uh, he does ex a lot of progress-based videos ton of he's doing group iron man on zeros right now which is really enjoyable to watch you get to see him do unlocks and unlocking new stuff and i really do enjoy seeing that so i will put him on uh it's all relative right now like he chill vibes his video he releases pretty often and like, he just has a nice set. I'd say A or S tier, honestly. Uh, I'm going to go with... Eh. I want to say S tier. 
honestly. Again, I might switch it around after I kind of get like understanding of where everyone is. Let's go with arts here. Arts, I kind of fell off watching. Uh, I haven't watched him since he really was streaming Ikov, which I know has been a while. He seems kind of overreactive. Like he overreacts to certain things. Like when he's streaming like Ikov, either very overreactive or very chillax and if you catch him on the chillax days which again i like chill vibes i like relaxing when i'm watching a thing he's a great youtuber to just chill to but when he's overreacting it's just like i i i don't want this energy i'm not too big on it uh but he does do like progress based videos and he basically does at least when i watched him progress based videos and iron man or sorry progress based iron man and gambling so i would put them on a strong b tier i would i'd say a b a c tier for now no b tier uh let's go with uh, if you maybe some velheim people will know this guy right here mr noob's own noob's own rsps now, what can I say about him? Number one, I love his personality. First and foremost, I love his personality. Like, he, he's just chill, relax. How's it going? He does, like, he doesn't seem overreactive or, like, he seems like his reactions are very genuine. Like, something like a normal person would react. He does progress-based videos. Like, loot from X amount of monster and goes and kills that. Uh, and you can kind of see that, like, you can see that he's put time, effort, and hours into his videos and his streams. Like, he will grind something out. He seems like an actual player and not... How do I explain this? He feels like an actual player of RSPSs and not an actual, you know, person who just wants to make an advertisement and get some money. Not that that's a bad thing. Whatever floats the boat, whatever brings the bread home. But he he actually seems like someone who enjoys playing RSPSs, which I really enjoy. So I'm going to put him personality based, and I really do love his accent. It's awesome. He absolutely just hits all my tastes. I'm actually going to throw Chris down in A tier and throw Noob Zone in S tier because it's just like, it hits absolutely everything. Diddy. Now, Diddy was in the stream the other day. Oh, no, I ain't gonna shit talk Diddy. Diddy is amazing. Uh, I love... Let's see here. What the comments I write for Diddy? Because I wrote, like, a little notepad saying a small little bit on every single person. With Diddyscape, I very much enjoy his personality and energy he exudes. I honestly wish I could watch him more. His edits are phenomenal. His, like, he puts time into it. He feels like an actual person that enjoys playing RSPSs. Kind of similar to what I said about Noob Zone. The problem is, he plays a fuck ton of custom servers. To which, it's like listening to a K-pop band. It sounds fucking amazing, but... I have not a clue as to what is actually going on. So, it, I'd throw him on a strong, like, B tier. Like, I love his personality, and I'll throw Arts down into C. Like, he is definitely a strong B tier for me. Uh, let's see here. Frem. <laughs> well, as you can kind of guess, I don't like custom servers, so Frem is... I'm gonna go pretty low for me. Uh, what did I write for Frim? Uh, <laughs> all in caps, I wrote way too much custom server coverage. I get it. You like what you like. And Frim just likes custom servers. I respect it. But it's not for me. And he has a very chaotic, aggressive commentary. I don't know how to put it. But it's not relaxing in the slightest. It's just extremely chaotic. Like, I get a lot of people would enjoy that, but it's just not for me. I get some people would do enjoy it, so I still recommend always go check out these YouTubers who I am mentioning, so you can kind of experience them for yourself. Profit. I haven't seen much of them, 
but from what I've seen, I like his commentary style and his voice. But again, with Frim, he does a lot of customs. So I like his personality. So he'll be higher than Frim. But he just does a ton of customs. So I'll probably put him with Vitek right here. Wet Wizard. I can almost guarantee he's going to go get an A tier. But let me read what I wrote about him. His commentary. Extremely genuine. It feels like he's not overreacting at all. He's just playing. I like his voice. I like his... Like... I like his... Iron Man progress videos. Like, they're all really great. And he does great editing. I love that he puts, like, Nintendo music in the background. Like, Donkey Kong, Zelda. Like, that's, that's a plus one for me any day of the week. But he does not... He does do a lot of custom and PKing servers. So it's... When he goes and does like an Iron Man Bay video on like Valheim or something. It's ace it for me. Like it's a, a num Like he's number one in my mind. But due to he does like a lot of content outside of like... Um, Iron Man and RSP... Like sorry. He does a lot of content... That is in custom servers and PKing. It kind of loses me. But his progress videos and stuff like that are phenomenal. So I'll put him up in uh, A tier with Unreal. Let's talk about Sohan. I don't know what it is about it. But his like his commentary irks me. I don't know what it is. It's just my personal taste. And way, way too much gambling. I can only consume so much gambling and i prefer not to be any gambling uh way too overreactive when i'm watching streams he'd be like he won 10 bill this is just throwing no arbitrary numbers out wins 10 bill streams loudly about yes loses one bill and then he acts like he just lost the world it's like no no it's just way too overreactive it's not my cup of tea some people do like that overreactive he feels like hungry box in like smash brothers terms i get a lot of why people enjoy it but he's not my cup of tea so i'm gonna throw him down in d tier because i don't like his commentary nor do i like well his progress videos that he does are actually pretty nice let's talk about sprad real quick here I really enjoy Sprad's hype energy. Like when, when I'm feeling like actually watching someone hyper, like he, it speaks to me. It's a really nice energy. Like his commentary, it's really nice, but so it's usually too much for me. Sprad does a ton of custom and PKing servers, so it's gonna. He doesn't do much on the progress based videos. Like he does it from time to time. But it's mostly PKing and custom. Which I can respect that people enjoy what they enjoy. That's fair. And, but it is not what I enjoy. So I'm going to throw him on. I don't know. D tier I'd say. Miser. Now Miser is only a 200 like sub channel. But he is absolutely. He does progress based. Oops. He does progress based videos, which is really cool with his Iron Man and stuff. He reminds me of Dark World Order if you watch RuneScape YouTubers. Like, yeah, he's really good at what he does, like streams, I like his personality, everything like that. But he he has too many like the progress Iron Man videos, mint. But he does too much PK videos for me and like half the channels and the sub box is like, yeah, I'm going to go tune into something else. I like my progress Iron Man videos. I'm very biased. So I would say he's in, since I really enjoy his personality, but I don't like, I'll throw him in B tier. See, Diddy, I love your content, but I can't handle custom servers. Like your personality is great. It's, as I said, it's like listening to a K-pop band. I love their music. I love the sound of it. I love the editing. Visuals. Great. I don't understand the fuck is going on. But when you do make like Iron Man videos, it's mint. It is mint, man. Nars. Okay, I am very biased. I love Nars. Just gonna yeet. I love his commentary. It's both equally laid back at times and can also be very loud and energetic. It's a perfect medium. 
He's unfortunately does 99% of the time he streams. He does have like a few videos of like him doing TOB with bronze man or like bronze gear and all that and dragging him. It's like awesome. You'd have to watch it in a duo on iCuff. But when he streams on Iron Man, it's always a treat to watch him to watch him. And he somehow, I don't know how, just his personality and overall how he talks and all that. It's he actually almost makes gambling enjoyable to watch. I don't know how he does it, but yeah, he he's definitely an S tier for me. Just I really enjoy his personality. And then Eggy, the last I just discovered them like very very recently, and I gotta say I love Eggy's energy. I love his energy. The only issue with Eggy is that he does custom servers. That is literally my only issue. He does pro frog F base videos on the ga the custom servers. Like he does, his videos are amazing. I l love his energy and personality, but yeah, the the custom servers are just. I don't understand what's going on. And I know that's a very me being very biased. And I know a lot of people would be like, fuck you, gambling or gambling and PK and content and custom server content. It's not my cup of tea. So I would put him because I really like his personality, but I don't like what he's uploading up on B tier as well. And I think with the most YouTubers that I watch, like these are all the YouTubers that I watch personally, uh, this is where I would rank them. So we got S tier with Noob Zone and Nars, A tier with Unreal Chris and Wet Wizard, B tier with Diddy, Miser and Aggy, C with Arts and Sohan, D with Vitek Prophet and Sprad, and E with Frim. <laughs> and again, the video isn't to promote any drama or anything going on. So it's only meant to say, so even though I rank Frim low, go watch his videos. Go check him out. Go see what he's up to. See if you enjoy his personality. You may or may not. Go check out Diddy. Go check out Miser. Some I enjoy more than others. That doesn't mean that... So, and this ranking system isn't meant to say Frim is worse than Noob Zone or Nars is better than Vitek. This is literally just to say this is what I enjoy. So do not take it as like a competition. Remember, only peace, only love. Thank you for watching. And with all that said, with all that ranking said, we're going to go hop on Velheim on this stream. But I'm going to end the video here. I hope you have a great one. Have a good one. Peace. Thank you for watching.